Hello, everybody, and welcome to another special quarantine edition of The Kitchen. <laughs> Katie, still glowing, still showing? Large and in charge. So we are paying homage to our families in those great recipes that we've gotten throughout the generations from them. So today is our family-inspired feast. Yeah. So I'm making lemon yogurt blueberry pancakes. My mom, every morning for breakfast, has the same thing. She's just like me, fruit and yogurt, and she loves blueberries. So mom, these pancakes are for you. I'm gonna get my dry ingredients together first. So I'm gonna do a cup and a half of flour. I always like making pancakes, even if it's just the two of us, because if we have leftovers, I take them and freeze them, and then you can just pop them in the toaster. Now, two teaspoons of baking powder. This is gonna help give us those nice, fluffy pancakes. It's gonna help them rise up and be nice and light and airy. All right, two teaspoons and sugar. One. Two, three, and a teaspoon of salt. And my wet ingredients, I'm doing three quarters of a cup of milk. Just use whatever kind of milk you have, whole, 2%, skim, it's fine. And then I'm gonna add to it some yogurt. I'm gonna do a half a cup of yogurt. And I'm using Greek yogurt. You could use regular yogurt if that's what you have. You could also use sour cream or ricotta cheese. Either one of those would work. All right, yogurt goes in. There we go. And then I've got two eggs back here. Here. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Then we got our lemon. So I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of lemon zest. You know, if you don't have lemon, if you just have orange, you could change up these pancakes and maybe add a little pinch of cinnamon or cardamom. That would be really yummy. Now I'm gonna get my whisk and whisk up our egg. You just wanna get this totally emulsified so the yogurt becomes part of the milk and the eggs. It almost becomes like a nice, thick, rich cream with that yogurt and milk mi mixing together. All right, now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. So just make a little well in the center and pour that in. Get all of it out of here because there's little bits of lemon zest in and then just gently stir it. We're not looking to over mix here because that would give us a tough pancake. And if you look at your pancake batter and you say, that looks a little thick, looks a little dry, you can just add a splash more. I actually think I need a splash more milk. I feel like it's, different every time. So little splash. Yeah, that's looking better. All right, so see there? It is a thicker batter pancake. I'm gonna let this rest 15 minutes minimum. You can even go a couple hours, just put it back in the fridge. I'm gonna get this place cleaned up and then we're gonna fry up some pancakes. I've got my nonstick skillet here going over medium low heat. I like to fry pancakes in butter because that's what my grandma always did. I think it gives them those nice little crispy edges. So I'm gonna put just a little pat in there. Get it going. Oh yeah. And I just use a measuring cup to spoon pancakes on. Let's put that right in there. And another one. You can see it's a thicker pancake batter. I like to take a little spatula and kind of smear it out because it doesn't run the way a typical pancake batter would. And now I'm just gonna wait for those to cook. I'm just gonna give these pancakes a little check. Oh, they look so good. Let's give them a flip. Oh yeah. Look at that. So nice and thick and fluffy. And this is my favorite part right here. Now I made a special syrup to go with these, a lemon blueberry syrup. So all I did was take frozen blueberries, a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar, 
and two tablespoons of lemon juice and just let them simmer for a little bit. What I like to do while they're still in the skillet so they're nice and hot, is put a little bit more butter on top so it gets all nice and melty. That's the best. All right, these look done. I'm gonna take them out of the skillet. Now what you can do if you're making for a big group, put your oven on about 200 degrees and then just as you take these out, put them on a baking sheet in the oven and you can take it from there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that. Let's get the blueberry syrup going over here. Take a spoonful of those berries. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. You could even put a little powdered sugar on if you want it to be extra. Okay. I'm gonna get in. Get some blueberries on there. Oh my gosh, look how fluffy those are. They're so nice and thick. Mmm. Mmm. That is what I am talking about. It's got just a subtle sweetness to it. The lemon really comes through, and the tang of the yogurt, and they're so light and fluffy. Oh, Ryan, you gotta taste these. Here, I'm gonna give you a bite. I know it's Mother's Day, but you get some too. <laughs> Here, come around. That's legitimately like the fluffiest flapjack I've ever had. Oh! I love how crispy it is on the outside too. Mm. This is. I'm not just saying this for television. This is Don't act so surprised. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs>